welcome back to the break africa and like reason said um before the break we will be looking at the impact of gospel music in nigeria and also how gospel music have actually evolved over time now we know that gospel music was something that actually felt like something that was holy i'm not saying that recent gospel or uh, music is not holy but then when you get to see the access the kind of song they release on um, the pattern of their videos and also the way they arrange their lyrics you would definitely agree with me that it is so so totally different from what we have today and joining us on this discourse is kate mccarry a gospel artist in lagos nigeria nice having you on the show thank you yeah you nice welcome. having you yeah. Yeah, all right let's begin now what's your take on gospel music generally in in, in africa in nigeria to be specific yeah my take is that um and gospel music in nigeria is a very is very wide and mm. then most things we do in africa as we all know we all look up to god mm. and we do things that we at least at the end we need to make heaven at the end mm. that is the race we are running in nigeria mm. okay yeah now, um, talking about the race, you said you were running in Nigeria. Yeah. I wouldn't know the race other <laughs> gospel artists are running yeah. in your various yes. niches. You see, uh, when you talk about it, in fact, uh, we have different motives in going to gospel art, uh, music in, okay. way, in Nigeria. Some make it to for fame, okay. and some go into it to make money, mm. and some actually go into it just to, um, to preach the words of God through mm. their music and all that, and then hoping to make and um, to please God and then at the end of it we all see that at the end of everything we all think of making heaven so, I mm. think that is on my own motive of my own race mm. the race I'm running is for me to preach the word of God through True music, music mm. and, and not to make money and you don't have to make money and becoming famous you see at the end the two goes anyway okay. because whatever God wants you to do at the end you, you, you it, it's profitable mm. okay. and you make a lot out of it Mm. Now, okay, thank God you've been able to exonerate yourself. I was about getting personal <laughs> to ask you why you actually ventured into this path. Right. Now, um, let's come to look at this aspect. For how long have you been into this whole gospel music in Nigeria? Yeah, I think I can start. Uh, it, I started quite early, but I, I, came, I fully got into it in 2017. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Now, now we've seen a lot of musicians, gospel musicians. You know, probably they started as choir masters, choir mistresses, mm. they started as gospel instrumentalists, mm. and at the end of the day, they drift apart from gospel music down to secular music. Mm. What, what attribute can you pinpoint that causes this very movement? You know, some of them, and when you when they start, some mm. that's why I told you from the beginning that most people will go into it with different motives. Mm. You understand. Most of them, I think, you, God cannot ask you to do something, mm. and at the end, you now leave that thing and go into something mm. that you never want. Think they are not really sure of what they want. Mm. Mm. If you are sure of what you want, you go into it, and if you are being called, just like some pastors, if you are called and all that, you be focused on that, and you see yourself being grow big into what you are being called upon mm. so you cannot be into gospel music and at the end you die but maybe being gospel music is a task anyway mm. you mm. see that the fame is not as like the secular musicians yeah. out okay. there they have more fame than the gospel musicians. Music, musicians. musicians you push and you push and you push and some are not even ready to accept it because mm. some all because of our faith anyway mm. okay. we have different faith but in the secular world everybody accept it and all that and mm. some people when they see that they, they didn't go they didn't make it on time mm. they will then tend to deviate and go into the secular world where they want to make the fame and go and um, be famous on time and make money on time mm. but if you know what you are doing you'll be focused on that okay uh, yes. now um let me get a little bit personal with gospel artists now we saw that that was around um the uh, mid 2000s actually early 2000s yes mm. between 2006 and down to 2008 um mm -hmm. there was this particular couple now um this particular couple they call princess and they call kk and she goes in okay now they were gospel artists they were so over the time they actually had a major group in the southeast of nigeria mm -hmm. even down to lagos here and if you can remember one of your popular songs happens to be Akan Chawa something like yeah, that yeah, but yeah. then we saw they had a scandal and mm. the truth is this couple a lot of people were actually looking up 
up to them mm. because when some persons get to see oh they, they are a, a couple and they are into music and they're doing very well but all of a sudden they had a scandal which led to a divorce so i want to ask could it be the fame that actually caused the divorce or could it be that fame um when it comes to artists usually have impact on your individual life your personal life mm. Mm. I, th I, I can't say this because of the fame mm. because you know if you you know like you know i'm a married woman mm. yes and the, i still do other things apart from my from music yeah. okay? okay and you know i cannot just throw my family aside mm. because of the fame yes. getting into you and all that and you know they tend to call them different places mm. and some when you are married and you need to your, your, your husband need, you people need to be supportive yeah you mm. understand but when by one is not supportive or into what you're doing right now can say oh Kathy, please oh, we have a show here you need to come to but I thought you need to go. Why my husband, my family is here in Lagos. Mm. If my husband is not the understanding side, you know, it will cause a lot of things that uh, tomorrow you are here, mm. next tomorrow you are here, mm. and you are not giving attention to your family, mm. and you are doing all that things. You know, I think that thing will cause a lot, yeah. except if there's understanding okay. in it and the support should be there. Wow, that is, mm. that's a very wonderful yeah. response. Yeah, of course. Now, now, let me come from this perspective. I'm a lover of gospel music. I, I yes. love gospel music a lot. Mm. In fact, I listen to, uh, to No one is looking like a seven <laughs> <laughs> So, over the years, the gospel music like Pleasure mentioned in the introduction mm. has evolved from what we used to mm. know to what I would define as what we don't know. No, yes. <laughs> you know, the gospel music we used to listen to before, uh, Pleasure pointed out earlier, a holy song that when you listen to them, you feel motivated. You get Rima instantly. In fact, you get Rima. It's you like can, you're having this connection. You, know, you get this connection, oh God. spiritual connection. Yes. But now there is a twist of secular music mm. into the gospel music, yeah. and they call it that you need to be body for Jesus. Mm. You need to be there for Jesus. Yes. You need to be so okay for mm. Jesus. You need to. Uh, 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 in fact, so many secular languages are creeping into the gospel music. Mm. Now, how do you define? How do you? Explain this infiltration. Do you think it's normal? Well, you know, I, I, they, they will tell you that we are in the modern world. Mm. You understand? Mm. It's not like in those days where you'll be singing, they'll be telling you that everything this time is not about, uh, they call it spiritual, or yeah. really whatever. Mm. It's not about spiritual and spiritual, but there will be a spiritual because, you know, most youths now, mm. most people, they don't want to listen to that holy, holy. They want to ginger up. Okay. You understand? Yes. And they want to ginger up. And when you see, that's what I told you before, that gospel artists, some of them, they think maybe that is not picking them mm. so fast. You mm. understand? So they will now intend to add the secular mm. and this thing that will carry everybody along. along so that every, nobody will be boring and mm. all that. But let me tell you, there's still some song that God will still give you mm. that will, no matter how you sing it, people will still feel it. Mm. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah. That comes to this. Now we know for every uh, musician, for every um, artist, there's always an inspiration. Now for the secular people, it could be um, they went for a party, mm. they saw um, a group of girls dancing, maybe the way they were actually walking their ways, they get the inspiration to write the music. Yeah. It could be societal issues. A lot of things can actually inspire them. It could be um, your, 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 your state of mind could inspire you. So I want to get personal with you. How do you get your inspiration what uh, motivates you to write your songs mm -hmm. like uh, my song sometimes it just comes in some it can come through the dream mm -hmm. and sometimes when i'm washing the dishes yeah. in the kitchen mm -hmm. something will just come mm -hmm. and sometimes it's the situation mm -hmm. okay. around can I bring i could remember one song that came i will wash it mm -hmm. i think that was my second song I wash it came when I was angry. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so gospel artists can be angry. So when I was angry, mm. yeah. I was just oh God, what was this? And I just went to the bedroom and mm. quietly and I was like, I will worship Almighty God till I die you. You understand? Yes. Mm. With that thing when I started singing it, I now became relieved mm. wow. and that's when i started writing the songs mm. my husband was going up and i was looking at me i didn't say no i was just writing my songs mm. and I, 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 
I now put it together and I know something out of it. Mm. Wow. So, wow. Uh, nice. That's that was really nice. <laughs> Maybe Wisdom, since you actually like music, I, I think I should get you. I think I should get you angry. Me. Yes, I, I hope that should be after the show. We can't do it right now. It will be after the show. It will be. <laughs> no, but you just, just need to be shouting. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah I should be, be calming down in the anger. Calming down. Coming down. So it doesn't look. And like this one that just came now, like this, I mean, that came now in terms of tests and trials. Yeah. When you look at things, these days a lot of things going on you understand so when i just say that i'm like ah, ah, what's all these things why are things mm. like this mm. understand? i think too many people are losing hope already mm. Mm. if you go out there you see a lot of people are depressed mm. some people they are saying what is this thing what is nigeria said so when you tell you better for me to die mm. than living mm. you know so you might just need that song to just give them hope Okay. In the name of Jesus, everything is going to be well. Okay, yeah. is it the okay. Amen or I will worship you? That is Amen. Okay, that's the, okay, the okay, okay, yes. okay. Okay, that's the one we'll be playing that's right after the interview. Yes, okay. the all right. Amen. amen. Yes, all all amen. right. Now let me proceed to this question. Uh, it's a continuation of the previous question I asked because you you were you were pointing out something that is critical and I need to address it. Okay. You said that why people are actually deviating from the real gospel music mm. into focusing on secular uh, as in adding a secular twist, twist into it yeah. is because they want to carry the it audience and call people along. Yeah. Now, do you think it's right to compromise mm. the real gospel because of what people say? Because of, of what the audience wants no. rather than what God wants you to do? It's not right to compromise. Mm. It is not right to compromise. Mm -hmm. But in that thing, you cannot say they are taking God off it now. Okay. There's still mm. God there. In it. You see some people that say, be body for Jesus. Mm. You understand? Be body for Jesus. You are dancing. You, you know, David, when David danced, was he any, he said that this one is a holy dance. He danced to the point as if he was even going um, naked, yeah. even running, and, and the wife was shaving. You know the story. Mm. I don't think, is there any specific dance apart from uh, exposing yourself mm. and Shaking bombo mm. and all that. Is there any dance that is not for God? I don't know. I don't know. You are God. You are, <laughs> you are the God. So yeah, actually, yeah, you should tell us. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're asking you right here. Because I, I feel, I feel it. It will be a kind of people will, will, will backlash a, a minister, a pastor. Yes. yes. When you see a pastor yes. doing. Yeah. It's okay, you yeah. know, good body. Yeah. 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 People will talk. So yeah. there are some pastors that actually do this. Like mm -hmm. when you watch clips, like um. Pastor Paul in nature, yeah. like his own leg was yeah, the first one. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and also a lot of them, Pastor Jerry of Streams of Joy, and mm. what have you, you get to see these pastors adding, even the way they get to dress. And that brings me to this question. Mm. Now, we'll see, when I was growing up, um, I used to watch some song like, um, you've seen, You Are Worthy Lord, yeah. all this kind of song. You see the gospel artists who well, and apparel, like white, covering all the body and everything. But nowadays, I get to see um, gospel artists just like you, you are yeah, like <laughs> No, no, no. Beautiful <laughs> waves, looking all flashy and fleek. <laughs> now, the, the, the whole understanding, the idea, the picture I had while growing up from a gospel with your fashion who is super super modest that dresses to um like the jewish people at least to <laughs> appease god but now we're seeing our gospel actors most of them are even fashion models now you look at the likes of tim godfrey a lot of them out there you mm. see them or when you get to see on um, some musical concerts they wear on um, distressed jeans and you know in a normal um balance in a situation in a normal christian situation mm. they always say that that is out of place and that brings me into denomination how do you denomination define music? Because I'm very sure that some music that the call the polite person would not want to listen, mm. would not want to play the musical video in their household. Mm. Mm. So, yes. So I want to know, like, how did you guys change your fashion, the sense of fashion and everything, just to be involved? Because we even see some gospel artists being trolled on the internet based yeah. on the way they were dressed. Um, mm. a, a very good, good example is Tokwe Alabi. When she actually went for a party, she was dressed in a certain way, and people were like, what is she doing? She is a woman of God. And we saw that um, before, um, lately, she don't wear makeup, but mm. now we're seeing makeups and nails, even weaves. I think uh, it depends on individual. Okay. Mm. But it depends on individual and the way you portray yourself. Mm. You know, when you talk, you mentioned Tokpa Alabi. Mm. That Tokpa Alabi, you know the way she started. Mm. She started all like um, 
a very um, yeah she covered the cell covered very well her cell and from mm. head to toe so people now started looking at her from that from perspective. that perspective and expected her to continue so i don't think that thrill then it wasn't because of her dressing mm. okay. but because of her dance Oh, mm. I think the nature, the way she danced, oh, okay. people were like, ah, ah, a whole top of that mm. doesn't. But if you are the type that people are known, mm. that know you to be mm. this kind of person, like um, Tim Godfrey, you know, he has yeah, the the dress, yeah. And have you seen our pastor Chris too? You know, <laughs> Travis <laughs> Green, yes, and the rest. Green. You mm. always know this is the pastor. Mm. Mm. Some people want to have identity. Mm. Mm. You understand? Like uh, tonight, she does all that. Yeah, mm. me, I'm here, I'm doing all that. Mm. You understand? So, people will always know, ah, Kati, that's Kati, mm. that's yeah. the way she is. Mm. You know, when you don't go to the place and pretend to be who you are not, mm. you understand? Yes, so me, it's just like when you want to marry and you go to a family of your husband at the first day they invite yeah. you like that. <laughs> and they give you like 10 minutes and you <laughs> not take it unless you can finish <laughs> the time. you understand you yeah. don't do that so mm. that is it be who you, you are, are. Mm. be yourself mm. god knows you and he sees your heart and he knows your mission mm. and he knows your purpose and he knows what you want him want you to do for him mm. you understand i don't think that by being like this then you are you are a sinner because mm. of a gospel christ actually yeah. died for us sin yeah. so yes. um there's nothing wrong with looking good because you're a gospel yes. says you shouldn't yes. look sharp yes. yes. all right now let's come from this perspective you you said you've been into the music industry gospel music industry for mm. a, a, a while now and you haven't seen the likes of other musicians Eben, Snatch, yeah. joe praise and the rest doing good in the music industry now from the scale of one to ten how would you rate the impact of music, gospel music, over the years? Mm. Do you think that we are, we are getting the desired output, the desired message? Are they passing the desired message to the audience? Mm, it depends on what individual I want to. Oh, okay. If I'm passing a message now mm. and you feel this message is not what I want, there are mm. somebody that will still say this is the message and mm. I will receive it. Okay. Yeah, is that they are trying mm. and they'll keep See, we are trying we are we are we are mm. trying mm. are you a gospel <laughs> artist <laughs> uh, no we are we are all gospel by, we, by nature we are trying mm. and we keep trying mm. and we pray for god to inspire us more mm. oh, okay That's now awesome. um looking at us i want to ask like how are you guys um able to manage the thing because we know one thing about being a music is mm. music comes with popularity and, and popularity comes, comes with, with fame pride mm. now how how have you been able to manage your popularity even though you are not there yet uh, but at least the stage where you are mm. people will be like oh she's a musician she's catty um she's power um her song is so so power carried and mm. what have you when she gets to sing the heavens are coming down mm. and you go to ministrations and after your whole ministrations in certain places it could be in a concert it could be in a church there's always this paparazzi feel people yeah. wanting to come around take pictures with you and what have you so how do you manage that Yes. Hey, you take picture with them. Mm. Yes. <laughs> if you want to take picture, you take picture. There's nothing like, to, to me, there's nothing like, there, there shouldn't be pride mm. in okay. whatever you do. Mm. You understand? Except if you are being assaulted or you are being insulted by that, then, mm. then that's when you will not know how to come yourself. There's nothing that, if God gives you something, should, there should, pride shouldn't come mm. with it. Yeah. Though we are women, there's that pride, you understand, mm. that yeah. this, that, and all that. But you shouldn't get into your head. Mm. Oh, now, I, apart from, from apart from singing, what other thing do you do? Do you play musical instruments? Ah, I don't. I use, yes, I play drum. Okay. okay. Yes, yeah. I, and it's I quite unfortunate you don't have a drum here. <laughs> yeah. And I love you to, to play the drum. I started the table right from when I was. Wow, uh, interesting. Yes, yeah. so I, I play drum, and I do other things, but. That's by the way. Yeah, that's <laughs> by the way. Now, I'm still proceeding looking at the Nigerian musical mm. platform. Now, aside both the gospel and also the secular music, mm. they are all doing well when it comes to the international market. Now, looking at the Nigerian music 
the gospel aspect of it now we've mm. seen the likes of snatch we've seen the likes of nathan or bassi and we've seen the like of eben and um tim Godfrey, mm. and a lot of them popping up now we're even seeing this one um the the most the yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now aside from it we'll say that these people they have their various niche now when you want like the very most holiest of um, music you align yourself with nathan or bassi yeah. now when you want something that lifts your spirit you align yourself with um snatch then you want the popular form Pop kind yeah, of gospel you, you artists. You meet you Tim Godfrey you, you and Eben. Tim Godfrey, Eben, and <laughs> Moses Blaze recently. Mm. So I want to ask, like, don't you think all those things are all infestation of Western culture, European culture, into the indigenous um African gospel music? If you want to tell us that, then the gospel is separate, and the Christian is that that we are doing in in Africa too is that mm. because. You, 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 the uh, Western people, they brought us to us here. Okay. And mm. if we are doing like then I don't think there's not anything wrong in that. Mm. Oh. Yes. Okay. Because we have our own culture. If you mm. want to go into culture, mm. African, they have their own apart from this uh, Christianity of a thing. Oh, you yeah. understand? Mm. So since they gave it to us here, yeah, I don't think there's anything. So wrong uh, as we wrap up now, what advice do you have for budding gospel artists, people who want to mm. go into the music world? Yeah, what I want to have then, well, what I want to tell uh, anybody that wants to go into music is that the person should just be focused. Mm. Okay. And as I always say, seek your first. The, mm. kingdom. the kingdom of God. Matthew 6, 33. Yes. Right if God... <laughs> If God gives you something, mm. there is no way you will fall. Mm. You won't fall by the roadside. Mm. Okay. You will surely get your destination and be focused. Mm. Don't be intimidated. Mm. Because some people, whenever you put some song, mm. they will say, what is this one singing? Mm. If you didn't get it today, remember, you, get it you will get it tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wow, thank you very much, <laughs> Kathy, for being a <laughs> well. part of the show this mm. morning. Oh, I actually oh. have fun with you on the set today okay. i don't know about wizard yeah, yeah. but it was quite a swell time with you on, yes. on the saturday now before we call this segment to wrap let's see Kat's song titled amen <laughs> 